PT in, in Ireland, uh, we have over 600 uh, staff, um, various uh, um, from technical staff right through to our financial uh, team. Uh, probably half a billion turnover in euros. Uh, so, so it's an extremely important and strong company in the telecommunications sector. So probably if you go to an ATM machine and, and take out cash, uh, if you go onto some of the, the retail stores in, in, in the high street, contact centre, so if you uh, contact any of the large um, large uh, technology companies uh, for support and probably most international calls, uh, probably four out of five um, that are made in the country will transit our, our network. And of course the most important uh, service that we provide uh, which people may not know is the ECAS service, the 999 service as well. So BT would have some very strong partnerships uh, in, the, in the tech industry. Uh, uh, we, we are the uh, largest uh, suppliers of, of, for example, Cisco, uh, Dell, uh, EMC, uh, Microsoft, etc. So, so we have a, you know, a very strong pedigree in, in IT integration. And we bring that forward into, into our large managed services contracts as well, where we would provide uh, all, all our uh, uh, traditional services like data, voice, uh, telephony, IP telephony, uh, but also deliver uh, networked IT service as well, something that, that maybe uh, some uh, people don't know about BT. Yes, I suppose it's one of those things where um, our, our, uh, your, your greatest uh, strength uh, can be anonymity uh, in terms of uh, the data network, being, but it's because it's so reliable. Uh, as I said, our, our carrier class network, uh, a high, high bandwidth availability, uh, uh, five nines, so uh, people actually rely on that so much that when it does uh, have an issue, there there is there is uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, concern. However, you know, touch wood, uh, our, our network is extremely reliable. So uh, yeah, we're, we're the the underpinning of our network is is strong, um, and we use um, quite a number of suppliers. But we we our, our Dastral Research Park. Uh, we work with those closely uh, and they're embedded in, our, in our, our research and development facility there. So we're almost ahead of the curve in many of these ways so we can ensure that security is embedded in our network, that uh, as again the high class availability of the network and the carrier class uh, characteristics that it have support our customers uh, and ensure that their services to their customers are 100% reliable. Ireland being on the edge of Europe, um, and such a, a large attraction for, for global companies, our English speaking uh, and highly qualified uh, staff in, in Ireland uh, are, are being sought after by, by all the large global MNCs. Uh, BT serves four out of five of, of the top tech com companies in the world. So we're there to ensure that they have um, all the services that they need to uh, connect to, uh, to their global uh, customer base. BT has over 190 countries covered with our global network, so uh, being based in, in Ireland on the edge of Europe doesn't disadvantage anybody from setting up here. And we can see that the, the economy growing, the MNC base is growing, uh, and we're there to help them and ensure that uh, they continue to thrive. The challenges are, are, are manifold. Um, primarily, it's, uh, it's ensuring that, that high-class bandwidth is available to, to all uh, the, uh, consumers in, is in, uh, in Ireland. I think obviously people who work in companies are also consumers, so they're, they're spread right across uh, the Republic of Ireland. So uh, the National Broadband Plan obviously is key for that, ensuring that we have high class uh, uh, bandwidth available in for broadband av availability. But in terms of uh, BT's role in, in ensuring that uh, the networks are there, again, it's a lot of investment we put into our network, uh, ensuring that uh, our, our, our fiber reach is, is where it needs to be, and ensuring that the, the the high bandwidth carrier class nature of our network, uh, which is now upgradable to terabit speeds, uh, is there as well because um, when you're connecting, uh, especially with the cloud services and, and, and things moving to the cloud, the data center becomes an, an important component of this. Uh, and connecting not, not just our data center, but the multiple hyperscale data centers that are available in Ireland with our network is important so that customers can rely exclusively on, on us to get a uh, bandwidth from where they're consuming it back to the data center for storage, for embedded security. So all those elements are really important uh, uh, to underpin the, uh, the, the progress in the, in the economy. BT is here to ensure that for all the other considerations that uh, global multinational corporations have in coming to Ireland, 
uh, the availability of telecommunications and global connectivity is not going to be one of those issues that they, that they face. So uh, we, we, will, we absolutely work very closely, uh, particularly with the IDA as well, to ensure that any foreign uh, direct investment, any global multinational corporation that's coming to Ireland can rely on us to give them connectivity, uh, both within uh, the island of Ireland, but also uh, globally as well. BT's uh, history goes back to the early 90s um, and uh, uh, certainly I'm here over 20 years so we've, we're, we're not going anywhere and uh, BT has a, has a long tradition of investing and having a long term uh, a view uh, on, on, uh, on its business so uh, BT is here to stay, BT uh, as I said is extremely important uh, we believe in the infrastructure of, of, the, of, the, co of the country. Uh, it's also important for those global multinational corporations that wish to come to Ireland. It's also important for the domestic customers uh, who need to connect globally and more and more we're seeing that the top uh, uh, companies in Ireland who require global connectivity are turning to us to give them the support, not just in terms of, of data connectivity but for contact centre support, uh, security uh, embedded into the network, um, cloud services, uh, as well as our, our, our traditional data and voice services. So, so absolutely, we're, we're here to stay. Enjoy this video? Click here for more news from siliconrepublic.com or follow us on social media.